Alaskan Igloo Tales by Edward Keithen, illustrated by George Aidan Ahupak. Ejumalukun, narrated by Elizabeth Akevrak. There was once a young man named Ejumalukun who lived with his uncle, a rich medicine man. The time came when the uncle wished his nephew to marry the, but the young man could not be introduced to ask any young girl to marry him. Try though his uncle did, none of his scheming or magic could affect the youth, and the boy remained single. But one day, the medicine man suddenly died and went straight up into the sky, taking everything he owned with him. Ejumalukun found himself alone in an empty igloo. Since now he must surely starve unless he got married, and could then live with his wife's parents, the young man set out to find a woman. But people had heard the news, and since he was now poor, no girl would consider him for a husband. Several months later, the people saw a fine kayak coming up from the sea. When it came near, they could hear a man in it chanting and beating a drum. It was the medicine man! He beached the kayak going up to the igloo found his nephew sitting alone and in rags. They talked secretly for a long time, then bowed each other goodbye, and then the uncle pushed off in his kayak and paddled out to sea. That evening, the people heard Ijumalukun singing as he broke splinters from a piece of wood that hung from the ceiling of the igloo. These shall be the fine wolf head, he sang. Then he put on a tattered rabbit skin parka. This shall be a fine spotted deer skin parka, his song went on. When he fully dressed, the young man went out into the moonlight and looked at his shadow. Yes, he was right. He looked like a rich man now. Immediately, he decided to go across the river to see the girl who had refused to be his wife. He was too poor to own a kayak, so he got into a long wooden trow and taking a snow shovel to, for a paddle, crossed the river to the home of the girl. The moon was bright when he landed on the other shore and the girl, seeing him coming in the moonlight, thought that he must be rich again, for he appeared to be dressed in a fine spotted deerskin parka with a beautiful wolf hood. As Jumalukun approached the young woman and said, Will you marry me now? The girl this time consented, so they went together to his kayak. First, the girl got in, and then the young man took his place in front of her and paddled off. Just as they started to cross the river, the shovel began to talk, saying, Ijumalukun, Ijumalukun's paddle is a shovel. Ajumalukun, Ajumalukun's kayak is a long wooden chaff. Hearing what the shovel said, the young woman looked about her and saw that she had been deceived. For a while, she said nothing, but sat still thinking deeply. When she had made up her mind, she took a long wolverine ribbon from her parka and tied one end to the kayak. The other end she tied to Ijumalukun's parka. Then she said, I'm getting seasick, Ijumalukun. Please, let me put my feet on the beach for a moment. But the youth mistrusted her and said, No, not now. Wait until we get across the river. Again she begged him to put her ashore, and again he refused. Finally, she said, Ijumalukun, I am so sick I shall die if I cannot put my feet on the ground. The young man was frightened this time, so he brought the kayak up to the shore and the girl, leaping out, ran swiftly towards her home. Ijumalukun saw that she intended to get away from him, so he sprang out of the kayak to follow her, but the wolverine ribbon held him fast. He then jerked with all his might to break it, but instead his frail wooden kayak snapped in two. 
The young woman safely reached her parents' igloo, and poor Ijuma Lukun swam across the river as poor as ever in spite of his clever scheming and his uncle's magic.